Chronic Wasting Disease, Pennsylvania. That's our topic of discussion, and we start now. As of Friday, June the 14th, 2019, the Pennsylvania Game Commission has expanded the Chronic Wasting Disease Management Area Number 2, which now includes all of Perry County, all of Juniata County. And there's other counties also in that, but I'm directing those two counties because that's the Perry County is where I live and uh, Juniata County is not that far from me. I think the reason that they did this was the western part of both Perry and Juniata were already in the CWD management area. And they maybe have expanded it to the, all the both of those counties, the whole county, to help stop movement because if somebody's hunting from eastern P Perry County or Juniata went to western part of their counties and hunted and didn't realize and weren't following along and knew know that that the western part of their each county was in a CWD management area they could have brought a deer back to their home in the none restricted area and they don't want that that's how it can travel from a area that has it to an area that doesn't have it and that goes without saying for the whole state so the first image here you're seeing is the map that shows the CWD disease management areas for Pennsylvania right now So if you live in those areas or or come into those areas to hunt, you need to know what the do's and don'ts are. And I want to just cover a few of those with you today. First question is what if I hunt in Pennsylvania in an area affected by CWD? The basic or the biggest things and so forth if you're coming into this area and you need to know it if you live in this area is number one we're not going to be you do not feed the deer anymore nothing no pelleted ties feed no corn no kind of grains no minerals no nothing feeding no salt blocks nothing they have to be removed ASAP. The other thing that will affect us for fall in hunting, if you use deer lures, you're going to have to make sure that lure is synthetic. It cannot contain urine based, it cannot be a urine based lure. Now, as you can read the rest of it there, of what, uh, if you hunt in the affected area there. I will also leave, put the link to the Pennsylvania Game Commission's page that covers a chronic wasting disease. It's very long. There's a lot of reading to be done. If you're living the management area, you want to especially take the time through the summer here, familiarize yourself of what can and can't be done. If you hunt, if you're out of state or another part of Pennsylvania and you come into this area to hunt, you also need to be aware of what you can and can't do. So that's what I'm trying to touch on some of the high spots. The next thing up is, what are high risk carcass parts? 
again you want to read this study the picture that they have there but real quick the head that includes your brain tonsil eye lymph nodes spinal cord backbone the spleen skull plate with attached antlers now if you clean off the brain material matter off of the skull plate then you can remove those antlers and move them within the state they dare not have any brain matter so you want to be very very careful when you do remove your antlers you want to clean that skull plate up and remove all brain matter you can read the rest of that on your own another highlight what are why are there restrictions on moving high-risk parts well the simple answer to me is you don't want to bring or take CWD into another county within Pennsylvania if it doesn't already have it and you had a deer that maybe looks healthy but you don't know unless you had the thing tested so you don't want to take the head the spinal column etc into that county so if you're somebody that hunts uh, from Dolphin County I'll use it because it's close and you come into Perry County and hunt you don't want to take that deer from Perry County which is illegal to do and take it back into Dolphin County the whole deer because it could be contaminated with CWD and you don't know that unless you have it tested so you can read the rest of that also from where is the importation of high-risk parts prohibited this was last updated October 15th of 2018 you need to check this out on their website and so forth in case they add more states to it but states around Pennsylvania include New York Ohio West Virginia Virginia Maryland and I know fellows that go to those states and hunt you have to be aware of the only really thing that you can bring back to Pennsylvania is the meat it needs to be deboned you can bring back if you shoot a buck the horns as long as they're, you clean them and there's no brain matter attached to the skull plate so be very very careful if you're hunting out of state in any of the surrounding states here that are CWD areas also that if you shoot a nice buck you need to leave it with a if you want to have it mounted you're gonna to have to leave it with a taxidermist probably in that state to have it done once it's mounted you can bring the head back in or you cut the horns off and clean the skull plate that there's no brain matter what carcass parts are safe to move so you get into you can uh, parts that can safely be transported into and within Pennsylvania are meat as long as there's no parts of the spinal column or head attached clean hides without the head skull plates and or antlers cleaned of all brain tissue that's what I was saying before if you cut the horns off you need to clean the skull plate of brain matter and you can bring it in from another state or move it within Pennsylvania and there's some other smaller items there and the one thing is a finished taxidermy mount the next one and you can read this yourself 
during this video or you can go to the link I gave you and take your time later on and read these. But what, per, per, what precautions should hunters take? And they give you a list of things to look for. And the, the number one is don't shoot or handle or consume an animal that appears to be sick. And that continues on to the next frame. It was a fairly long article. So that's something you want to read on your own. One thing that is suggested is they will be in the wildlife management areas under that have the CWD that are in, in that area. They will have collection bins set up different places. I have no idea where. You'll just have to continue checking uh, their website. That you can leave your deer head. It tells you how to handle it. You need to put it into a plastic trash bag. It also has to have your hunting tag on it. That way they can contact you once the tests are done. And the suggestion is, if it tests positive for CWD, that you do not consume that meat and that you dispose of it. So if you do your home processing yourself of your deer meat, debone it, You probably am going to have that head checked. I don't know what, how long this takes. I didn't uh, ask anybody that. And it's something you might want to check with your local uh, game commission office for your county. Or call the Huntington office because that covers Perry County and Juniata. And ask them how long that's going to take because it'll give you an idea of whether, you know, you go, okay, I shot a deer, looks fine and so forth, but I want to be safe, I want to have it checked, and I leave the head in one of the bins, how much time is it going to be before I get notified? It hasn't been diagnosed in any humans yet of anybody consuming any meat from a deer that had chronic wasting disease, which is similar to the mad cow disease. But I understand that they don't want you to consume it if the deer comes back that it was positive because it takes a while for the animal to show signs. That's the problem with this chronic wasting disease. It's not something they get today and tomorrow you can tell it. So again, check out the link that links you to the Game Commission's website for chronic wasting disease. There's a lot there to read. Take your time, read it, know what the do's and don'ts are, and we'll all be better for it. Because we don't want to take and spread it to other parts of Pennsylvania or any other state. This is Steve Taylor with STO Wildlife Calls TV. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.